I feel like the consumer is just as much to blame as the, the publisher, but it's not oh, yeah. neither of our faults. It's as much as like the advancement in technology and the way things are. And for the music industry as an example, in pretty much the same way that video games are headed, in, uh, especially television too, is that like in the 1970s, like just when music was being mass produced and like bands were huge, like for the, through like the 1960s up until like the 1990s and early 2000s, like artists could create like a full length album of just beautiful, like great material because they were going to put that album in a, a like a, an album shop. Yeah. They were going to sell an entire album for like $20, fucking dollars, $14, whatever. At the time it was, people were going to buy that entire album because they, and they're the only way to, to get to album. that one song that they wanted to hear on that yes. album was to buy the entire album. And then they hear so all the then rest of it. the technology comes along and access now, to online like yes. you can get that single song so yeah. it goes from a record company making 14 dollars per album to one dollar per, per song play, per play basically. right yeah so now they have to develop a new way so it, it has time, to do the music with... industry decides am i going to put all this money into this band that's going to create an album that somebody wants to buy or for, am i going to have or am i going to make a, a guy that puts out a one hit yeah that somebody's going to listen to that everybody's going to buy once yes you know what i mean and it's the same thing with video games now. It has like, to do with the on-demand, <clears throat> like the transition to on-demand things like Spotify and iTunes. Right. Because now they're they're looking for that subscription rather than that one time, yeah. like like because millions of people were buying albums. Yeah. So that like and all the money goes to the guy, the people people who made the album. Right. Not and, anymore. And we were talking about this one of the a couple times, maybe it was with Cody, where you you don't listen to a whole album anymore. No. It doesn't happen. So you don't listen to a piece of art in an, its, its entirety. You listen to like the, the, and, the and that's that's the problem is that. Uh, even band, like I when we pro- talk about this, I brought up the Black Keys. How the fir- their first few albums were like their songs flowed into each other, mm-hmm. and that's how all bands were like back in the day. Because it like you said, it was all one continuous play. Yeah. But now, like the Black Keys' most recent album is just ten songs that are just all segmented. Mm-hmm. So and that it has way- to do mm-hmm. with like YouTube as well. It's like you can put one out there and mm-hmm. if somebody sees that video, they play the video. They're not going to play a fucking hour and a half long video. It's a and fucking like, th- album. That's the thing that sucks too is like, I'll use the chili, the Red Hot Chili Peppers as an example. Cause they're a band that they have three solid singles, every album. Mm-hmm. But really in my opinion, and I'm biased cause they're like one of my favorite bands. Their songs that aren't as popular are way better than the ones that did get popular in a way. All my favorite bands, mm-hmm. Opeth, Porcupine Jury, Between the Buried and Me, they all, like, I look at them, their albums as individual tracks. Yeah. Because they're all put together. That's how I feel ways. about Pink Floyd, is yeah. that every album is its own thing. You mm-hmm. can't just be like, you know. Well, and that's why, like, all those rock stars and shit from back then have money. Like they've like I feel like it's not easy to make money in the music industry anymore yeah, because these people every, up at the top yeah. say okay you're gonna be the one they make they blow this guy up f- sky high like make him like this biggest celebrity ever like he makes six, like nine. two or three good songs and then you don't and then he drops again. off the face of the yeah. earth and also it's like all these distributors like I said iTunes and Spotify. It's like they're shaving a bunch off the top. People might not even be getting ten percent of each buy. You have to make your money on live shows, and when you're only gonna put out two hits and then stop being a thing, you're not gonna make. Not only that, but most of these people that are getting these, and like this doesn't speak for all industries. This is mainly the hip hop industries, from what I've noticed. It's like these people aren't actually talented enough to be playing live shows. Like you'll watch them, um, like. I don't know, Little Pump. Have you heard of him? I He's think Gucci so. Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci yeah. Gang. Gucci so, Gang. like, there's nothing good about that song. <laughs> Even right there, you put out the like, one there's song that nothing, he's famous for. There's nothing <laughs> that shows that that kid has any musical um, talent whatsoever. No. But they blew him up. A lot of time it's image or, like, yeah, they're six selling nine, an both image. had the rainbow hair. Yeah. 6 9 was literally a meme. Like, he was a meme that people made fun of. And. Then like I actually really I like six nine honestly <laughs> like <laughs> fuck all that like you know <coughs> ch- child humping stuff that's not cool oh, yeah, that's... but like I actually didn't mind his music but yeah. uh fucking but tying into the video game industry EA in particular is from what I see as far as escape like they're not looking to sell that sixty dollar game off the shelf like they want you to buy the subscription 
yeah. so that they're getting or they your... want you to buy the microtransactions, right? Because mm-hmm. if they can get like say, I don't mean to cut you off, they gotta be making if they a can lot. if they can get like let's say a million people buy Madden, right? So you get sixty million dollars, let's say, but let's say half of them stop playing it within a month, so now you're down to you know five hundred thousand people, and let's say half of them only do the franchise mode, and then you only need like ten thousand people to be spending. 50 bucks a month on like the ultimate team right. cards to be making, you know, you're making half a half a million dollars a month yeah. off of a game that you don't I do don't shit know. with. Do you pay to be on Spotify as a musician? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I think, don't think, so. think so. Okay, so what they're all they're doing is taking percentages off of how many plays you get. I don't understand the so, play. So so they get that Plus, they get the subscriptions from everybody. So, ten bucks a month from every user. Oh, they make crazy money. Yeah, but so it's like you don't need to take that percentage. Well, I remember you ha- when you are providing a service to the artist. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember when Apple Music first launched, and there was controversy because what Apple was doing was they were <clears throat> having the artists sign contracts. They're basically like, "We'll pay you, you know, let's say, you know, two hundred thousand dollars a year." If you only release your music to Apple Music, mm-hmm. and then we'll give you, you know, Apple Music exclusive. We'll give you like we'll give you like five bucks for every listen that you get. Okay, or so something like that. Instead of giving them like a percentage of each play or whatever, or each download, they're getting a lump sum at once. Yeah, essentially, they're getting a lump like because the thing Taylor Swift wasn't. I only remember this because we got Apple Music, and my sister's a huge <laughs> Taylor Swift fan, and she was devastated. For, like, the first two years that Apple Music was a thing, I think it was two years, it was a while, Taylor Swift didn't want to be on it because they weren't offering her enough money. Okay. So if you wanted to listen to her music on iTunes, you had to buy it. And there's still, a few, like, Bob Seger's like that. You can't... And Prince is like that, too. Like, Bob Seger and Prince, you can't just go on Apple Music and listen to them. You have to buy it. Hmm. Which is weird. Yeah, uh, it's just there's too many uh, channels to go through now. You gotta yeah. go through your, like, record label... You got to, like, fucking figure out all this social media shit. You got to fucking get on all these platforms. I would like to talk about um, this with Dave because they're on Spotify and Apple Music. Well, and you notice there's a rise in Mm self-production. Like, I feel like less people are aiming to get into a production company more so than just being their own entity. Well, because there's a lot more. There's. A, it's a lot easier to produce things yourself now mm-hmm. just because of technology and right. also it's like you're gonna bypass that fucking you know record company that's taking money from you just and, to uh, be a just to put this shit out it's like having a podcast network yeah or something, right yeah like, i hope dave listens to this one because i want him to correct me on what i said about how apple music works for for big artists because i know that you can you have to you can pay to be on there but I think if you're like a big star, they pay you. Maybe I Probably. don't know. So I hope he listens to clear it up. Like, well, they're they're on Apple Music. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's what I mean. I so think. I think he did. He had to pay to do that. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know. I, I know we Apple we Music, are on Spotify. So I could I downloaded his album. Yeah, I bought it through Bandcamp, but then I just downloaded it through mm-hmm. Apple, so I didn't have to open the Bandcamp app every time I wanted to listen to their album. I could just be on my Apple, like on my my music. Right. But um, like like we are on Spotify, but we're not making anything, and I don't think they're making anything off of it. Right. I don't think they can. Right. Like, how could they make money off of it? Well, their money is just whoever's subscribing, pretty much to watch. Like somebody's whoever's watching your video has a subscription. Or right, whoever's right, listening right. to this has a subscription, yeah. so there's their money. I mean, how much is it a month? Twelve bucks, ten bucks. I Spotify. think Spotify is ten bucks a month. I think uh, I pay for premium. Ten, uh, ten bucks for uh, Apple Music. Yeah, I yeah. think they're all pretty much ten bucks, like Google Which, Music or whatever. It's a hundred and fucking twenty dollars a year. A million yeah. people do it. How, you know, that's fucking Definitely a lot of money. That's, money. that's like a a hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, how many? A lot of these how, how much is that? Going... In, how much is that in cans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of these, a lot of these streaming things are just doing ten bucks. It's like it's because it, when you look at it, you're like, oh, it's only ten bucks a month, right? And and it, it it doesn't look like a lot. Sure, it probably adds up, but when you have as many people that are doing it as they are, that shit adds up real fast. 